If you're part of a small or medium-sized business, you're probably all too familiar with the challenges of purchasing. Do mismanaged orders, lost documents, and vendor complications sound familiar? Today, we're diving deep into the SAP Business One purchasing process. Before showing you the solution, it's essential to understand the magnitude of the challenges businesses face. One issue is integration. In today's business world, everything is connected. Purchasing cannot work alone. It must blend smoothly with sales, inventory, and other key areas. When systems don't match up, it leads to delays, less clarity, and capped growth. Another big challenge is managing risks. Every buying decision, especially the big ones, has its risks. Small and medium-sized businesses can end up with low-quality products, late deliveries, or even face scams if they don't have a solid plan. Also, SMBs have less money to work with than bigger companies. This means each buying decision, budget plan, and negotiation is crucial. A small mistake or oversight could have a large impact. Now that we understand the challenges, let's dive into the SAP Business One purchasing process. When you first open SAP Business One, you can see a cockpit, an interactive dashboard designed to improve the user experience by visually representing critical data. It's customizable, meaning users can select which widgets or key metrics they want to view based on their roles and responsibilities. The purchasing dashboard within the cockpit zeroes in on every facet of the purchasing process. At a glance, decision makers can monitor open purchase orders, identify performing vendors or those that might be causing delays, allowing for better relationship management gain insight into received goods and other returns, facilitating better inventory management and budget monitoring to ensure cost control. Okay, so let's move on to the purchasing process. In SAP Business One, you can initiate the purchase process in a few ways. You can start with a purchase request. Have you ever felt the need to buy something but needed approval first? That's exactly what a purchase request is a simple internal requisition highlighting the need for certain items. It's the equivalent of saying, hey, we need this, without officially buying it. You can also create a purchase quotation. You can choose the vendor to order from, the dates, and the items or service you want to purchase. When you're done, you can just click on the Add button. Now, if you've got several potential suppliers, but you're looking for the best deal, you can use the quotation generation wizard instead of creating multiple quotations manually. You add your items and your specific requirements like required dates or any other relevant information. Once you're okay with the details, you can go ahead and confirm the purchase order confirmation wizard. The documents will be created for you automatically for all the vendors that you've specified. In certain business scenarios, especially in dropshipping, you might need to buy products only after you receive a sales order from the customer. SAP Business One allows you to create a purchase order based on a sales order for buying exclusively on behalf of a customer and not adding to your inventory. This approach ensures you don't overstock items and respond to customer demands. Another way to create a purchase request, quotation, or order would be through material requirement planning, which is in short, the MRP. MRP can provide automatic purchase recommendations by factoring in various elements such as minimum, maximum stock levels, sales forecasts, and actual orders. Think of this recommendation as SAP Business One's way of giving you a nudge, indicating when it might be the right time to replenish certain items or even explore new procurement avenues. Using the insight from MRP, a planner can initiate a purchase request. These aren't your everyday run-of-the-mill requests. They're informed, data-driven requisitions tailored to your business current needs and future demands. Once the planner purchase request is up and running, it's over to the buyer. The buyer reviews this request, taking a closer look at the proposed pricing, quantities, items, and the chosen vendor to fulfill the order. After this review, the buyer can seamlessly transition the purchase request into a quotation or an order while ensuring minimal manual input and maximum efficiency. And finally, you can start by creating a direct purchase order from scratch. Again, you need to choose a vendor, you need to set the required dates, specify the items you need to buy, and set the quantities which are automatically entered with the required quantity to ensure you have enough stock in your warehouse. SAP Business One's dynamic pricing feature offers you flexibility by syncing with your vendor price list, but you can always manually adjust it. The dynamic pricing feature keeps businesses up to date, ensuring they're always aligned with market dynamics. In the Logistics tab, you can specify the address details, and once you approve, you can click the Add button to add a purchase order. You can also email your supplier to further streamline operations and ensure real-time communication. 
And finally, each time a purchase order is added, the order quantity of these products increases, ensuring the transparency and, of course, the up-to-date records. It's delivery day and the goods are arriving. With just a click, you can copy the receipt of the goods from the original purchase order so there is no room for error. If you manage serial numbers or batches, you can enter the relevant information when you receive the goods to ensure tracking and transparency, of course, later on in the process. And where are these products going to be placed? Well, you can place them in a temporary location or specific bin locations, either through a put-away process or placed directly in that location. This, of course, can be easily set for every item if needed. Once you add a document, you're going to see an additional financial posting or a journal entry. This journal entry will have the inventory valuation that is based on the specific inventory valuation method set for each item, whether it's moving average, FIFO, standard, or more. Now, every item carries more than just its basic cost. Think of customs, insurance, and other fees. With SAP Business One, capturing this additional cost is straightforward. You just input them as landed cost and let the system do the math. Whenever you're allocating cost based on the item's weight, its value, volume, or any other measure, SAP Business One provides flexibility. Choose the method that makes sense for your shipment. But remember, this document should be based on a good CPO, an AP invoice, or another landed cost. But how is cost divided? Imagine you're ordered a bunch of gardening tools. Some are lightweight like gloves, while others like shovels are heavier. Shouldn't the heavier items, which lightly cost more to ship, bear a larger portion of the shipping cost? Well, SAP Business One ensures this logic is applied, offering clarity to all the associated charges, be it shipping, customs, or other fees. It's about ensuring every item bears its rightful share of the total cost. You can always adjust if needed. Once you lock in these costs, the price of your imported items adjusts and also create a journal entry mirroring those added costs into your accounting. Not sure about the final cost? No worries, put it as an estimate. Later, when clarity emerges, adjust with precision by creating a new landed cost document using the first as a reference. Now, let's say that a few of the ship products didn't meet your expectation. Whether it's damage or not up to standard, returns are part of the business. You can copy the goods receipt PO to a goods return and copy over the items and the quantities to be returned. You also need to release the serial numbers and the batches that we allocated before. Now, the vendor usually provides an RMA number. It's their way of acknowledging the return. Just key it into SAP so both sides know what's happening. As you process the return, the system updates. Your inventory count drops, reflecting the items you've sent back, and a financial transaction was posted to reflect the changes in accounting and, of course, with the inventory valuation. Handling returns shouldn't be a hassle. With SAP Business One, it's clear and simple. When products make their way into the warehouse, the next step in the supply chain is ensuring the vendor's finances are handled. You can copy the goods receipt PO to the AP invoice, just like we've seen with the other documents, and note that only a partial quantity is copied over as you returned some of these products before. You can choose to directly settle the invoice, cutting out any middle steps. With the AP invoice in place, SAP Business One diligently works behind the scene. The system clears the corresponding account. With the invoice recorded, it's payment time. But for those who like a guided approach, the payment wizard comes into the rescue. It provides a structured method to handle bulk payments or intricate vendor payment structures. And that's it, you're done. Finally, SAP Business One has a solution called the Relationship Map, which is a dynamic visual representation of your entire document flow, from the purchase order to the final payments, every step finds its rightful place in this map. The Relationship Map offers insight into the sequential flow and interrelation of documents, ensuring that you're never left scratching your head about the what, how, and when of your business processes. SAP Business One addresses the purchasing challenges SMBs face, offering an integrated, streamlined approach to manage and customize the purchasing process. Through its innovative features and tools, businesses can enhance their operations, ensuring efficiency, transparency, and timely decision-making. Ready to optimize your purchasing process? Start your SAP Business One journey now. Click below to learn more.